I went on a little shopping trip today to H&M and I thought I'd show you what I found and the things that I bought. Now I read somewhere just recently that stripes were meant to be a micro trend for spring summer 2024 but stripes always seem to be in style and there were loads of stripy pieces in H&M. Stripy dresses, basic t-shirts and long sleeve tops, stripy bodies and sweaters. This one I found looks very much like the designer sweater. I saw this stripy cardigan which I really like the look of. At first glance it looks like a black stripe but actual fact close up it's more of a navy blue. So I picked one of these up. Now this could be worn buttoned up or worn more like a cardigan which is how I'm wearing it. I put it together with white Marks & Spencer's jeans and a little basic white vest top. This is also from Marks & Spencer's and in fact the shoes are also from Marks & Spencer's as well. I've also added a black bag to the look to match the black belt. The bag is from Teddy Blake. This is more of a smarter look but the cardigan could be worn a little bit more casually so I've swapped the shoes. Now these do come from H&M. They're flat slingbacks which are very on trend this season and I just thought the colour is great to wear with white jeans and they're actually very comfortable too. To the outfit I've added a straw bag. This has got tan accents which really blend nicely with the belt and shoes and make the outfit look a little bit more casual. This cardigan is $44.99 and I got this in a size small. Size wise it's absolutely fine and it fits quite nicely. The cardigan also comes in black and beige stripe and I think I actually prefer this one. It's exactly the same price and I got it in the same size. This one I've put a short sleeve cashmere top from Nap Loungewear underneath and it blends really well with the colour of the stripe. And then with that I've put it together with black jeans, black belt, black bag and the tan shoes from before. The buttons on both the jackets are gold and they're not particularly that nice but they could very easily be swapped for better quality ones and I think it would make the jacket look a little bit more expensive than it is. So stripes were mentioned as a micro trend but when I was looking around the store what I noticed lots of was polka dots and as a fact just recently I saw Gwyneth Paltrow in a really lovely polka dot outfit, a polka dot blouse with black trousers and Sofia Vergara she was in polka dots just recently so I think perhaps polka dots are probably a micro trend for 2024 as well. I saw this little polka dot blouse in store and thought this could be really nice worn with some black tailored trousers. I love polka dots so I was pleased to see lots of polka dot pieces in the store. Now you may have noticed short trench coats are very on trend and you'll find them everywhere. They do look a little bit like someone just come along with a pair of scissors and cut them in half but I have to say I quite like them. This coat has really big collars which I absolutely love. I think it adds a little bit of drama to the outfit. Another way I've tried the jacket is with black jeans and the beige cashmere sweater which I wore earlier and again with the tan shoes and with this black bag. Now the jacket could be worn buttoned up but I actually quite like it loose and because of how it fits you could quite easily put a sweater underneath there if it's a bit chilly. I tried the outfit with my black top handle bag and I've also tried it with a shoulder bag. This is from Aspinall of London and the top handle bag is from Teddy Blake. The coat was £37.99 and again I got this in a size small. If you like the more traditional style trench coat I did happen to see this black one in store which I thought looked quite nice and a black trench coat is a nice alternative to a beige one and it can be just as versatile. When I was looking around the store I did see quite a few broderie anglaise things. I really like this black top which had a really nice v neckline and I would imagine this would be quite comfortable to wear in springtime. Now just next to it you may be able to see it there's a black shirt which I actually picked up in white. This is what I'd call a very easy breezy shirt. It's loose fitting, comfortable and it doesn't need to be heavily styled to look nice. I've just put it together with some black jeans and my little toe cap shoes. By the way if you do like toe cap shoes H&M do have some in the ballerina style at the moment and they're just £18.99. Now the shirt could be worn buttoned up but it also could be worn loose over a vest top and instead of with black jeans it could be worn with white jeans. It could actually be worn tucked in but then you would actually lose the lovely trim at the bottom. So I think it's probably nicer left loose. 
I just thought it was a nice blouse for the summer. I got this in a size small and this was £42.99. Something else I found was this white dress. It's a beautiful dress, but it is very, very see-through, so you definitely need to wear some kind of nude slip underneath. I did try this with flats and with heels, but on me, it looks so much nicer with heels. The sleeves are actually really lovely and they shouldn't really be rolled up because you don't get to see the real beauty of them, but they're too long for me. Ideally, if the cuffs were tightened, the sleeves would look so much better. And I think that's something that could be adjusted quite easily. It would just be a case of the button being moved over and then it would give it a little bit more of a balloon sleeve and I think that would look so much nicer. I did get this in a size small, but probably just a little bit too big. Perhaps going down a size, the cuffs and the sleeves would look better. It's got a gorgeous full skirt on it and this could make a really nice occasion dress for the summer. Another dress I found was this little floral strappy dress. The print on this is very delicate, very understated. Like the other dress, this could be worn with flats or with heels. I prefer it with heels, I just feel a little bit more put together in it. As you can see, the back of this is quite low and quite strappy, so you can't actually wear a bra with the dress. But as a fact, it does feel quite tight and quite secure. So I feel quite comfortable without one, but possibly if you do have a bigger bust, you may feel a little bit different about that. It's buttoned all the way down the front, but it does have a side zip, so it's very easy to put on and off. This is a linen blend, and I got this in a size 10, and yeah, I'd say this one fits really nicely. They had quite a few skirts in store. I did like this satin skirt with an elasticated waistband in this gorgeous beige colour. I don't tend to wear skirts that much, but I really want to start wearing them more this year. I found this one online. It's a utility pencil skirt. The colour is beige and I got this in a size 8. I have to say it's a really comfortable skirt. It's got lovely big pockets and this could be worn lots of different ways. So I thought it could be quite versatile. I've tried it with a black silk shirt. This is from Lily Silk. These colours go really nicely together and I've put that together with some black heels from Ali Shoes and my black Teddy Blake bag again. Now obviously this is a smarter look so it could perhaps be a work outfit. Another way I've tried it for a more casual look is with a black t-shirt. This comes from Tommy John and I put it together with my flat tan shoes and my black crossbody bag. All together just a more casual, more relaxed look. Another way I've tried it is with a white linen shirt. Now the shirt I'm wearing is actually from Marks and Spencers, but I did notice this one in store in H&M. They had quite a few nice linen shirts at really reasonable prices. And usually the linen does tend to be quite nice and quite nice quality in H&M. This one I think was around about 20 pounds, but I'll link it below for you. Another way I've tried this skirt is with a red top. I love these two colours together. Red and beige or red and tan complement each other so nicely. I've added the straw bag and just to give it a little bit of interest, I've added a little red scarf to the bag, which I will show you in a little bit more detail just later on in the video. This red top is a really great shape and because of the V-neck line, it's quite flattering. The V-neck is actually at the front and at the back and although the shoulder straps are quite narrow, they're just about wide enough for the bra straps to be hidden underneath. It was only £15 and this one simple top could make lots of different outfits. As well as with the skirt, I've tried it with white jeans, tan shoes, tan belt, and this tan shoulder bag, which is also from H&M. And I've also tried the same outfit, but this time with the straw bag, and again with the scarf tied around the strap. And I could layer this with the short trench coat over the top as well. You can see that these colors look just so gorgeous together. And a red top can actually be just as versatile as a black or a white top. If you've got one in your wardrobe and you struggle to know what to wear with it, or perhaps if you're thinking of getting one and you're not quite sure if you're gonna get as much wear out of it as you can, I do actually have a download for a red top. This is actually one of the color combinations in the download. And the beauty of it is it doesn't matter if your red top is a turtleneck, a red shirt, or your jacket is a blazer style or a camel coat, you can use the download to give you ideas to put together an outfit with what you already have. I've actually got a few different downloads now. 
I've just released the white jeans download, which has got 20 ways that you could wear your white jeans. I've got a download for black jeans with 20 ways that you could wear them in the spring. And I will be releasing some more soon. So if you are interested, then just sign up to my newsletter and you'll be the first to know. Now, another skirt I found was this wrap skirt. This is actually quite a thick fabric. It's probably gonna be okay to wear in the spring, but I think it possibly is gonna be a little bit too thick in really hot weather. It does it with two buttons and it's got this tie belt on the side. Now I've tried this with a little white vest top. This is from Marks and Spencers, but I think this would look really great with a racer style top if you don't mind showing your arms. I've also tried it with a black top as well and this has got little sleeves on it. The skirt was £54.99 and I also got this in a size 10 and this fits quite comfortably. One other skirt I bought was this denim maxi skirt, which was £27.99. This again, I got in size 10, and I've put this together with tan shoes and the tan straw bag. Now it does actually say it's a midi length. On me, I would probably say it looks more like a midaxi length, which usually I don't like on me. I just find they swamp me just a little bit too much. But this one I actually quite like. I don't usually wear denim skirts, but denim everything is really on trend right now. Skirts, shirts, dresses, you name it. I did also try this skirt with a knit from Lily Silk and I've put it together with the two-tone bag. I think for a more on trend look, you could wear the skirt with some trainers. I just don't have any at the moment, but I did see these in store. When I was there, they didn't have my size and unfortunately I forgot to buy them when I was looking online. I really like the shape of these and I think the colors are so neutral, they'll just blend with everything. Another denim piece that I bought was this denim dress. This is a fabulous little day dress in a shirt style with a belt and with buttons all the way down the front. I wasn't actually quite sure if I would like the hemline. I thought perhaps it would look nicer with a straight hem, but I actually quite like it. And unlike the skirt, this would probably look better with trainers rather than the sandals that I put it with. And possibly it could be worn with heels, perhaps for a smarter look as well. Been on the lookout for a lighter fabric navy blazer which I could potentially wear in the spring and perhaps into the summer too and I found this one. I prefer single breasted single button blazers. This one is £32.99 and I bought this in a size 10. Now I've mentioned to you many many times before about this colour combination and this is just a variation of it. Navy blue blazer, white top and tan accessories. This can be mixed and matched so many different ways and no matter which way you put it together, it always looks terrific. I actually have a download for this color combination as well, so I'll link this one below for you as well. One other way I've tried this blazer is with white jeans and with the red top. This is another combination and another way that you could wear a red top. It's really easy to forget, really simple combinations. I also forget them when I'm getting dressed sometimes. That's why I created the downloads for individual pieces. If you want to wear your red top and you need some ideas on how to wear them, you just go to your phone, look through the download, pick out an outfit, and it just makes getting dressed so much easier. I could actually add the red scarf to this outfit and tie it in a really fabulous way. It would totally elevate the whole look. And I did say I would show you the scarf in a little bit more detail. So here it is, it's red and cream. It's 80 by 80 centimeters and this costs £9.99. Scarves can add so much interest to an outfit and change an outfit from something that's quite plain to look so much more styled and polished. I love red and camel. So for now, I've just put the scarf with my white jeans and a camel blazer and really simply just tied it around my neck for ease and quickness but you know you can do so much more exciting things than that with scarves but this one is a lovely color and this will go with lots of things that are already in my wardrobe 